Guys, uh, get into pads yesterday. Just got, what, what's it like these last few days with the pads on? It's been feeling good. Um, you know, we're clicking as an offense. We're feeling good. We're moving the ball and uh, it's exciting to be back hitting and uh, you know, just competing with our teammates. Yeah, how's that just overall camp going for you personally? Feeling really good, really healthy. Um, you know, it's coming together, uh, moving back to center. Um, feeling great and just happy to, to be healthy and moving forward. How are you taking on the leadership role of that position and making the calls for all the guys? What's that been like for you so far? Um, it's, a, it's an honor to be considered a, a, a leader in the O-line room and um, being able to, to get the guys on the same page and move forward. It's, a, you know, it's exciting. It's a, it's, a, it's a fun job to have. Does it come pretty naturally to you to be that, that vocal guy who's kind of calling the shots up there? Uh, my first few years, it wasn't as, uh, you know, it wasn't as natural, but now it's, uh, you know, it's, it's easier for me after, so, you know, years and reps and just being able to get into the guys, it's, it's, it's been pretty, um, easier now. We've talked about the offensive line last year, how many injuries you guys had and how much of a shuffle it was. What's it like seemingly having everybody healthy at this stage and kind of going through and playing right, normal it, fall camp? It's an absolute blessing. Like, um, I got taken out first day of pads uh, last year and, uh, you know, just being in the training room, it's just, it's murky areas and just having everyone healthy, it's 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 a truly a blessing, yeah. Seems like the depth is a little bit more this fall yeah. camp than, than last year. Can yeah, you definitely. talk a little bit about how deep the O-line is? Yeah, we're, we're pretty deep. We have, uh, you know, a couple of Juco guys at Buffalo coming in, you know, stepping up to that left tackle spot and uh, just really being that, that solid that solid guy for us. And, you know, uh, some young guys, too, that are stepping up, like Ituini and, uh, you know, just getting into the role and moving forward, yeah. What was your first impression of Buffalo when you saw him come in here? He's huge. <laughs> Buffalo's a, he's a good guy. I, I really like him and, uh, you know, he, he, he's getting the offense really quick. He's an athlete, he's really fast, and uh, I'm excited to see him play. It seems like you have a lot of guys on this offensive line now who have maybe some ability to work at different positions. I know you've done that a lot in the past. How much of an advantage is that at this time of year? Oh, that's, that's a really big advantage, just being able to, if some guy is, you know, not feeling too well or some guy's injured, you're way, we're able to plug each, each other in and just get reps wherever. And, you know, it's, it's nice to be able to be flexible and just, just keep the practice flowing and not have any bumps in the road. What does it take for a player to be comfortable doing all those different things and to be able to have that versatility? I think it's truly understanding the, what it takes to be an alignment and, and the, the position and being able to, to truly, uh, I guess, absorb all the information in the line room and, and being able to plug it in wherever and just know, you know each step and each landmark and all the techniques and stuff. What you learn from uh, Maka taking over the, that position? Uh, to to be a leader, to push the old line, to 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 be the guy that hey everybody let's get set, let's get set, let's move forward, and um, you know he sh he showed me how to push the old line forward and and uh, show me how to like truly be a center and yeah yeah I like to, um, it was an honor being a, a backup behind Maka yeah. As a team, you guys are getting ready for some fresh challenges this year with the new conference. How are you approaching that part of it? What are your thoughts on moving to a new league? Challenges. Right now, we're just focused on Houston and uh, focusing on the next day in camp. And as of now, we just have lunch right right, right after. But <laughs> you know, we're keeping it like one thing at a time and keeping the main thing the main thing. Um, when we get in the conference, we get in the conference. Cool. All right. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate your time.